You have to be like water in order to be like water. Adaptable fit into any vessel. Have a sense of calm, have a sense of. But ambition is extremely important. And I don't just say this to girls. I say this to boys and girls. Just everyone who wants to be able to have a purpose in life. Have an ambition, have the guts to find your glory. It's extremely important to have guts. To have conviction to be able to say that. You know this is what I want and I want to achieve it. Minus one, I learned it from the very, very strong people in my family that I looked up to. That showed me that it doesn't matter what your circumstances are. Matters how long. There's something about knowledge. There's something about if you learn. Even if you don't know something, if you have an ambition to be somewhere, if you prepare yourself, you have the ability to be better than everyone else. I, I like to be prepared for everything, even if it's an interview, even if, if I'm going for a red carpet, even if something is trivial to someone. Honesty is very important. Relationships on, whether it's with friends, whether it's with family, whether your loved one, whether it's in a romantic relationship. I think being real to what you really are feeling is very important. And a lot of people don't have the guts to do that because we are always pretending to be a certain. But I think the healthiest relationships happen when you have the ability to call out someone and say, well, that's not right. Or I don't feel a certain way and you're wrong. Or you're right and to be able to talk about it, um. It takes taking that cloak of being a. Careful about your emotions off, but that's very. I really feel like you are defined by. Every time you define her, what you do next, not what you left behind. There's no point in doing the same thing over again. I try not to do the same thing over again. You have to take risks. Risks are so important in evolution. Um, playing it safe yet, yeah, you can have an existence. But you never be someone who's a... Um, my dad was extremely sensitive. The one thing that I learned it with from him was the hassle. -y. He always taught me that. Don't be afraid of the failure. What you do next after failure is what will define you. And everyone fails. It's gonna happen to you. It's gonna happen everyone. Instead of sitting on your hands, do it again. Find the courage to say, what can I do differently? How do you look back and be a mistake and say, all right, that was a mistake. Great not doing that again. That's something. My parents never wanted me to have a what if in my life. What if I had done what if I tried that? So they always support me. They said no matter what you do, whatever mistake you make, have the confidence and tell us because like, even if you kill someone, my dad, I remember him telling me this. Even if you kill someone, come and tell me. I'll help you find the body. I'll help you bury the body. But then I'll take you to the cops. Ha ha. So you will. You always have to have courage or conviction. We spend our entire lives trying to figure out who we really are. And then we change and then we figure it out. And then we change again. And I think that's the most fun student, right? I'm constantly changing, constantly evolving. And I'm hoping that everyone's still curious about me as I keep doing that.
I've had so many times whenever I'm doing interviews, people always ask, Oh, you're doing a movie with, you know, a female boy actor. Did you guys get along with their cat fights? But when it comes to boys, they say, oh my gosh, that looks like a bromance and everyone got on so well. So I feel like over time, because women have the lack of opportunity. We were pitted against each other because we had. There were only like five opportunities. Like five places a woman could be hired. And so we were elbowing each other out to get to that one spot. So that the crux of the problem is the lack of opportunity for females. And the more opportunity we create for each other, the more sisterhood will grow. We're 50% of the world's population. We need to be represented in every field like that. We need to empower by each. By putting us in positions of power. So I realized many, many years ago that the more I champion women, to create a world around me at least where. You know women run the show because we kind of do it really well. We just aren't given the opportunity enough. You know yes. When I was very young, I started working when I was 17 years old. And I remember my mother telling me this really young. That women should be financially independent. It doesn't matter who your father is. Doesn't matter who your husband is gonna be. Doesn't matter who your brother is. Doesn't matter who the man in your life is. You need to be responsible for your finances. And be financially independent.